What we need to do normally is checking whether AutoCAD's DWG format is in the import panel in Blender or not, so, we go to File, Import, and we take a look on the formats that's available, and you can see that we have, FBX, OBJ, the scalable vector graphics and some other formats, but, not the DWG that we need, so now, we open AutoCAD, and see what can we export from it. First in the save section, if we open it, there are four formats available, DWG, DWS, DWT and DXF, and we are going to use the DXF format in the first method. You can also check the export section which have other formats, but none of them related to Blender in the matter. So as we said before, save the file as DXF in any location. Then, go back to Blender, go to the add-ons settings and just write AutoCAD in the search bar. You will notice two add-ons with the word AutoCAD in them. We need the import one for now. After that, delete the default objects, and from the top view, go to import and you will find a DXF format there. This is the file that we saved earlier. And there it is, still you need to add some reference length and scale the drawing. Other thing I noticed that, the hatch on the roof is missing, and also, if you start selecting the shapes you will notice that it's joined according to the layer in AutoCAD. What I'm saying is that all the lines in the same layer will import as one shape, you see here the elevation and the plan have the same blue wall layer, so that's the thing. Other than that, you can just throw a plane or a cube, and turn on the snap to start building over it, and I know, why the trouble, we could just import the image if we want to draw over it, still, now you have snap points, which is much easier, with the shifter here, add the plane, rotate it, and snap it to the corner, and in the edit mode, walk it around the walls. So, that was the first method, let us go now to a new Blender file, remember the scalable vector graphics that we mentioned in the beginning, we are gonna use it, first, save the AutoCAD file again as DWG format in any location. Then, using an online converter, we are gonna make it an SVG format. Now back to Blender, and from the top view, go to import and look for the SVG, select it and using the file that we converted, you will have the AutoCAD file opened in your Blender.
So what is the difference between the two methods? First, we have the hatch now, on the roof as you see. Also, this time every line is a separate shape here, and for sure will give you more control, but, it's a bit heavier due to much objects in the scene. Last thing we gonna do is this, we have here some geometry pattern, let's move it to Blender to see how it looks in 3D, so following the first method, save the CAD file as DXF. Then, in a new Blender scene, and as before, from the top view, import it in the DXF format. Now, it's clearly bigger than it should be, so just scale it down a bit, and let's leave it like that, we just need to see what can we do with it, and how the topology on it, what we have here is a shape, in the shape settings, go to geometry and in the bevel section, increase the depth a bit. Again it's not a true scale so just roll with it, also, increase the resolution values both in the bevel and in the top one. Now. Using the bevel settings, and some basic keyframing, you can make some cool animation with it, I leave that to you for further experimenting, you can also select the shape and from the object menu, convert it to mesh, and if you go into edit mode, you will notice it's clean topology, both segments and faces and similar, and I think we can do pretty nice work with it, so that's it for this time guys, stay sharp, goodbye.